Not everyone has access to a studio quality microphone to get professional sounding recordings. But here's the secret. You don't need a professional studio quality microphone or a quiet recording studio to get great sound. I recorded this video using the built-in microphone on my laptop and used free software from Descript to remove all background noise and echo while using AI to reconstruct and enhance my voice. Welcome to The Three Techs. I'm your host, Tony Tang, and with me today is Stephen Bramson. Hi, Stephen. Hi there. If you're a content creator like us and you find yourself spending extra time and money on equipment, sound treatment, software, or plugins trying to make your recording sound more professional, keep watching this quick tutorial. With the flip of a switch in this free software called Descript, you can remove all background noise and echo from your voice recordings and also enhance them to make them sound like they were recorded in a professional studio. Unlike most noise and echo removal software that only subtracts sound from your recordings and can leave unwanted artifacts, Descript uses AI to reconstruct your voice while enhancing the overall sound. So Tony, I know you've been using Descript for a while. How have you been using it and how did you find this new feature? Well, we previously did a show, Stephen, as you can recall, on the overdub feature in Descript. And I've been using Descript to edit our podcasts and also enhance some of the sound in our videos. I chose it because it has this transcription feature that transcribes the audio into plain text. And then you can edit your podcast like a word processor instead of a traditional DAW editor. And that really speeds up the process. The other great feature that it has is the ability to search for and automatically remove filler words like uh or um. And that really cleans up our podcasts a lot. You can also shorten word gaps and that can also compress it into a shorter time frame, which makes it a little bit more pleasant and easier to listen to. Okay, and this new feature, how did you discover that? Well, this new feature called Studio Sound came out in beta some time ago, and as a Descript user, I naturally saw their newsletter and tried this feature out. And over time, they've refined it and changed it a little bit to tweak the algorithms. And right now, I've been using it to enhance a lot of sound recordings that I get from people that are recorded using just the built-in microphone on their laptop, like on a Zoom or a WebEx call. And is it still in beta or is it fully released now? Studio Sound is now out of beta, so it's available in the production version of Descript, and it's also available in the free version, and I'd like to show you that now. Here's the Descript website, and you can see they say it's all-in-one audio and video editing as easy as a dock. And if we click on pricing here, you'll see the different levels that they have. Now we're currently looking at the annual plans and you can save 20% with the annual plan, but you'll notice that in the free version, you get three hours of transcription that does not renew every month, but you also get audio video editing like a Word doc, you get unlimited screen recordings, but you also get overdub and studio sound. Now, if you go for the paid version, you get more transcription time, you get watermark free video exports, but you still get studio sound in both versions. So this is a great way to try out studio sound to see if it's going to work for your recordings. To sign up is pretty easy. You just click the sign up button in the top right corner. All you have to do is enter your email, select a new password, your first and last name, and then click next. And that's all you have to do to sign up. You download the software, which is available for Mac or Windows. And once you install it, it's pretty easy to get started. Here I have Descript open and I've created a new project and by default, it creates a new composition for you. So projects can contain multiple compositions. I've named this one Studio Sound Demo. And what I'm going to do is just click the microphone button up here and then you can choose the microphone input. And as you can see, I have the MacBook Air microphone selected. Now it can automatically transcribe your recording, but for the purposes of today, we're not going to transcribe. And then if you click on the drop down here on this audio meter, you can see it also shows you the input, but it also has studio sound selected. 
So let's go ahead and record something. This is a test recording using the built-in microphone on my MacBook Air to demonstrate how studio sound can automatically remove echo and background noise from your recordings. You click stop, and then it automatically applies studio sound as you can see in the lower right corner there. Now it is processing this, I believe, in the cloud because it compresses the sound it creates an optimized version optionally, and now it's applying studio sound to the recording. First, I'll play the recording without any processing. Then I'll play it again with studio sound enabled. This is a test recording using the built-in microphone on my MacBook Air to demonstrate how studio sound can automatically remove echo and background noise from your recordings. This is a test recording using the built-in microphone on my MacBook Air to demonstrate how studio sound can automatically remove echo and background noise from your recordings. So Tony, I thought that was a pretty clear difference between the two. So the first thing you notice is the, is the background hum on the original recording. And then also you notice a much uh, drier sound on the process recording, which I guess is the echo removed. That's right. It makes it sound like I'm up close to the microphone instead of currently I'm about arm's length away from the built-in mic on my notebook. The other thing you can do is add back some of the ambient sound from the recording if you feel like it was too much removed. To do that, you simply adjust the intensity setting here. So if I drag this down to about 80, 80 some percent, let's say 88 percent or 87 percent. And I'll play that file one more time. This is a test recording using the built-in microphone on my MacBook Air to demonstrate how studio sound can automatically remove echo and background noise from your recordings. This is a test recording using the built-in microphone on my MacBook Air to demonstrate how studio sound can automatically remove echo and background noise from your recordings. Yeah, so I think the background hum was more subtle and it wasn't quite as terribly dry as the fully processed recording. And let's try it again just at 95% so you can hear what difference that makes. This is a test recording using the built-in microphone on my MacBook Air to demonstrate how studio sound can automatically remove echo and background noise from your recordings. This is a test recording using the built-in microphone on my MacBook Air to demonstrate how studio sound can automatically remove echo and background noise from your recordings. This is a test recording using the built-in microphone on my MacBook Air to demonstrate how studio sound can automatically remove echo and background noise from your recordings. This is a test recording using the built-in microphone on my MacBook Air to demonstrate how studio sound can automatically remove echo and background noise from your recordings. Yeah, that might be a good a natural compromise between the two, I think. In fact, what I do is I use Descript to clean up the sound when I'm doing the unboxing videos over on our unboxing channel. So in order to get some of the sound of the unboxing and some of the packaging and things like that, I have to dial back the intensity of studio sound so that you can hear some of that other noise that's not a voice talking because Descript is pretty aggressive at removing all background noise. Now you don't have to record within Descript in order to take advantage of studio sound. If you already have a WAV file from your Rodecaster Pro, for example, you could just drag and drop that into Descript and then enable studio sound for that audio file. Once you're satisfied with the results, you can publish or export your studio sound processed audio. To do that, you click on the publish button here. And if you click on the export tab here, you can export to the cloud. There's lots of options there. You can also export to an audio file. And for an audio, you could either do MP3, AAC, or lossless wave. Choose your channel, sample rate, and also normalize to a specific LUFS level. You could also export to a video file, but since I only have audio in this project, it's not giving me that option. But you could choose like an MP4 file format. 
You can also export to a video or audio editing tool such as Logic or Final Cut Pro. And that will export an XML file that you can then import into Final Cut. And you can also choose to export the media, including the studio sound enhanced version. But let's say you have a professional studio microphone. What will studio sound do to those recordings? Well, let's find out here. Here I have a Warm Audio WA47 tube microphone going into a Rupert Neve Designs channel strip and also into a Sound Devices Mix Pre 10. If I go into Descript here and click the microphone, I can click the gear icon to choose the input. This time I will choose the Mix Pre 10 2, which is the audio interface. And you'll see that I do have Studio Sound enabled so that it will immediately start processing it after we're done recording. Here's a test of Studio Sound in Descript using a Warm Audio WA47 tube microphone to hear how it affects the overall tone. First, I'll play the version without Studio Sound, and then I'll play it with Studio Sound. Here's a test of Studio Sound in Descript using a Warm Audio WA47 tube microphone to hear how it affects the overall tone. Here's a test of Studio Sound in Descript using a Warm Audio WA47 tube microphone to hear how it affects the overall tone. Two things I noticed. One is in the unprocessed recording, there was a little bit of a whir from background noise. It was pretty soft. And I think that went away in the processed sample. But the odd thing that was more noticeable is somehow studio sound took time to get used to what it was processing. And so the color of the result varied through time until it kind of settled in after a while. Yeah, I noticed that too. I think it took out a bit of the bottom end of the sound. I don't know if you noticed that as well. And it also seemed like there was some sort of filtering going on that affected the tone, uh, almost like a comb filtering, but it did sound a little bit odd to my ears. Yeah, so you might think twice about using it when you've already got a very high quality audio source. It may not improve the overall sound, but it may help with removing background noise if that is a problem in your voice recordings. Yes. And by the way, Steven's audio for this entire show was processed using studio sound. And what kind of a microphone are you using for this show, Steven? So just for this show, I'm using a Jabra Speak 410. So that's a USB device uh, that's more commonly used in conference rooms. So just for this show, I'm using a Jabra Speak 410. So that's a USB device uh, that's more commonly used in conference rooms. Steven, what did you think overall about Descript Studio Sound? I think it's a great tool and considering it's free of charge, it's pretty tough to argue with. I think the little demo you did where you mixed the original with the processed ended up giving a very natural result. Overall, just a really good tool. Well, that's all there is to it to remove background noise and echo from your recordings using Descript Studio Sound. Try it out on your own recordings and let us know in the comments what you think of Descript Studio Sound. I'm also interested in hearing what other effective software tools you found for enhancing voice recordings. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Three Techs.